How you doing? I'm Dr. Paul Dyer. Every Monday I do Mental Health Mondays at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're getting this message today, if you're listening to it today on real time, it's Tuesday. Yesterday, there has been some meetings about some constructions and destructions in schools. And I use those words deliberately, construction. When we have death in schools, death in places where people are supposed to be safe, our kids are supposed to be safe, there tears a fabric in our internal being that just destroys us. When a child gets human trafficked, when a person gets human trafficked, when a person gets taken from their home, when there's issues that happens that we're like, we know there's human rights issues. We know there's people that just don't care about others. But when tragic, it's almost like there's more of a sense of a tragic when things are happening like that in schools. It, it just, it breaks me down. It breaks all of us down. And what I'm trying to tell you for Mental Health Mondays or Mental Health Tuesdays right now is that when you find yourself breaking down, crying, just don't seem to get a hold of things, take yourself out to a place where you can see and connect with the creation of life. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, some, some of you may live in the city, some of you may live in um, urban areas, but not suburbia. Go touch a tree, go put your feet on a grass. I don't care if it's a patch of grass. And if you can be able to just put your hand on something living, something that connects you with existence outside of yourself, that gives you a recharge. That recharge is important because we need you in the fight. We need you in the here and now. We need you to, back in the street days, knuckle up and get in. I know, I know it gets hard. I cry often. I cry a lot. And there's issues that are happening that are like wildfires. And they're going to continue to happen. They're not stopping. They're not slowing down. I'm not even going to give into the religious reason of saying this is the coming of end times. But I do know this is our time. And our time means that we have to do something now. We didn't have, we, we, we are tired of marching and waiting. We are tired of begging and asking. We are tired of always looking for someone to come save our neighborhoods, our communities, our state, our people, our economic indifferences. It, it takes us. So, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but what I do wanna emphasize is, go get some fresh air. No matter what the temperature is, go out, touch life, touch existence, connect yourself, recharge yourself. Because if not, you become brittle and you'll die. And that's another spiritual death. That's another emotional death. That's another soulful death. There's a lot of us living the physical death. But if we recharge ourselves, connect ourselves to life. I'm out here with my dog. Hey, Addy. You want to come say hello? Come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on up here. Can you get up here? Addy. <laughs> if connect yourself with life, be a part of life so you can trust yourself in the fighting of this existence. Because if you don't, they take it from you. And it's easy to be taking it from you. I love you. Be kind. Be compassionate. Be safe.